welcome to the studio. My name's Peggy Kroll Roberts, and I've got a good exercise today. We're going to concentrate on edges. It's another tool to add to your toolbox, and uh, I've got some examples I want to show you here, and we'll go through the materials I use, and then we'll get started on the demo. So let's start with some examples so you know what to expect uh, to see what's going to happen today with the demo. First of all, edges, uh, you want to look at your edges where a color and value meet another color and value. Where masses unite, you're going to look at those edges. I'll talk about it and, you know, cast shadows, form shadow edges. It's, it's all these transitions you want to talk, uh, think about. Anyway, look at, let's look at some of these examples. I'm a painter who generally likes to apply everything with a brush, but today we're going to use uh, brushes and a palette knife. And we're going to just think about edges, those transitions. So look at these two examples. There are edges, really crisp edges, some intermediate soft edges, and then there are some edges in some of these areas that you, you can barely see the transition. So that's our goal today, and it's good to set up little still lifes. You'll see what I'm painting from here. Uh, so th this, once again, this was applied with a brush and palette knife. Let me show you another one where I used strictly a uh, palette knife. Here's another board that uh, uh, you can get some really exciting little edges and transitions. My transitions with this were mostly made with color and value changes. The transitions in this board were made with much, uh, I was much more aggressive with really finding and losing edges. And this is, this is my little practice one I did to prepare for this. Um, I'm going to use my ye little yellow coffee pot. I've replaced the little white uh, vessel with a lemon and um, put the little orange cup in. Just rearrange it, change it a little for your benefit. 